Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome if you're returning friends. My name is Rachel and I'm a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I'm here to do a 90 day update on my Everlane Women's Tops box I purchased from Helpsy Source a few months ago. So if you wanna see what sold and if I actually made money on this box, definitely stick around. So I'm a full-time mama and a reseller and I get most of my inventory delivered straight to my house. Helpsy Source is one of the main places I order from. I purchased this Everlane's Women's Tops box a few months ago and I wanted to just come back and give you an update. Let's talk about if I actually made money, how much I made, and if I would buy another one. I definitely want to hear from you. I know lots of people ordered this box when it first was released, and I think it was restocked a few times too. So definitely let me know in the comments if you purchased this and how yours did. Certainly consider subscribing to my channel as well. Every time I buy a new box, I come on here, unbox it, and then come back 90 days later and give you the results. And hit that like button if you could. That really helps out my channel a lot as well. So this one, I'm actually a little bit late on, a little bit. Um, this stuff all got listed in July. So my really, my update should have been last month, but uh, I'm a little bit behind on my content. I've had so many videos, so many things I wanna show you that I haven't had a chance, like there's not enough hours in the day, it feels like. So I've been releasing content a little bit quicker. I was doing every other day. You'll see at least, for most of November, I'm gonna put out videos every day just so I can catch up. It's a great problem to have, don't get me wrong. Um, but I wanna give you updates on some of these boxes. And this one I'm gonna keep kind of short and sweet just because um, there are a lot of like nickel and dimey kind of sales, a lot of lower dollar sales, and I don't wanna bore you to death. So what we're gonna do with this one, I'm gonna show you the top 10 highest sales. And I'll also talk about like how much I made and you know what the profit was and all of that too. So um, everything is sold. All 40, I, this was a 40 piece box. All 40 items are sold. Um, this box cost me $360. It was probably $400 with my 10% off, which by the way, if you're shopping helpsysource.com and this is linked down below too, I have an affiliate code. The code is oh yeah. You get 10% off your order every time you're shopping on the site. So if you are going to purchase from them, certainly take your 10% off. Like you said, it's linked down below or you can just put in code oh yeah at, at the checkout. Um, to my knowledge, it works on everything on the site. So if you're interested. Um, so anyway, so it was listed at 400. I paid 360, making my cost per piece $9.23. I sold off all 40 items and with a liquidation type box where I pay up a little bit, like the cost of goods is, is a little bit higher relative to what the items are because they're new with tag. Um, typically I want to double my money. So I want to have made $360 back, which is what I spent on the box, plus an additional $360 in profit. So that's what the goal is here. Let me show you the top 10 and then we can definitely talk profit. So here's what's sold. I'll put it on the side here. Mm, there's a couple I don't have screenshots for because I'm behind and eBay, this screenshot only um, lasts for 90 days. I swear when it does sell on eBay, it sells like right away. And then I lose the, the screenshot because I never do these videos on time. But anyway, um, there was this green cotton button down shirt. This was a size eight. This was new without tag. $28 on Poshmark, sold by offer, meaning I probably listed it at 35. And just knowing myself, it probably started at 35 and I sent an offer to Likers and that's how it was purchased. Um, then there was this cropped cami and this was a size four. This one was only listed about a week and that was a $35 Poshmark sale. So for what it was, that was a pretty good, that was a pretty good sale. Um, there was this Japanese Go Weave square shirt. Um, I've gotten so much Japanese Go Weave stuff since this box, but this was the first of it that I ever got. I'd never seen it, never heard of it. So um, this was a good sale too. It was a good size. It was a size 14. This one was only listed a week as well, and then it was a $35 Poshmark sale. Um, then there was this long sleeve short button down. So it was a cropped like top. And this was a size large, 
This one was also a $35 Poshmark sale and this one sold within three weeks. So this stuff, the stuff that did sell, like, well, it, it's all sold, but like this stuff sold like really quickly once I started to list it. So that was pretty exciting. Um, then there was this, gosh, I forget the name of this fabric, but it was like this relaxed cotton off white shirt and it was a size 16, again, a great size. Um, it was a $30, a $35 eBay sale. This one took about five weeks. So it was a little bit slower, but it did sell eventually. Uh, five weeks is not really a long time, honestly, but slower compared to the last couple. Um, then there was this denim popover shirt. This was a size medium. This was a $39.99 eBay sale. I don't have a screenshot for it. I'm sorry. And I know that's not the real name of it, so I can't even look up to see what it was. Um, but $39.99 sold within two weeks. And at that price, that means that was my outright asking price. Um, anytime it's at .99 on eBay, that's what I listed it as. Um, if it's an even number, that means I either sent an offer or an offer was sent to me. But that means it was an outright purchase. So that was that one was good. I love an outright purchase. It makes me all happy inside. I don't know about you guys, but um, I would say probably at least 75% of my sales are by offer. So when I get that like one off outright purchase, so exciting. Um, then there was this linen relaxed long sleeve shirt. This was a $40 Poshmark sale. This one was only listed for four days and then it sold. Now it's not really surprising considering this was July and this was linen. So it was perfect right on season. Um, and you know, I'll take a, a $9 sale into $40, especially if it's going to sell quick. That's exciting for me. Okay. Top three. Um, there was this linen camp shirt and in hindsight, this is a men's shirt. I don't know if I even listed it as a men's shirt and I can't even look. I probably did, but uh, I probably figured it out after the fact. But it was a size extra large. It sold on eBay. I'm showing you a screenshot because I've since received this shirt again and sold it again so I can show you what it looks like. Um, but this one was only listed a week and it sold for $40 on eBay. So that was exciting. Again, linen, middle of summer, perfect. Um, okay, last two. There was this linen relaxed shirt. This one sold within a week. This one was a size eight and it sold for $45 on Poshmark. So again, another quick linen sale. When I get a box that the stuff starts selling quick and it starts selling pretty high, super exciting. It's like, yes. And then I'm not even worried about the rest of the stuff. Like there were a lot of like tank tops, basic t-shirts. That's why I'm not showing you all that. We would be looking at the same basic t-shirt like 15 times and I don't think you want to sit through that. I don't want to sit through that. So that's why I'm just showing you the substantial pieces. But because pieces like this sold for so high, I was able to let go some of the other stuff, just, you know, 12, 13, 14 dollar sales. That's all it was worth. I wasn't expecting more than that. You know, I was just listing that stuff to recoup the cost of the box. Um, but, you know, there were enough higher sales um, to make up for it. So speaking of higher sales, the highest sale, number one, actually a Mercari sale. And I love selling on Mercari because they take like the least amount of fees. But um, this was the clean silk short sleeve shirt in olive. And this was a $50 Mercari sale sold after 10 days. And uh, that was the best one out of the box. So nothing like super spectacular, no like blowout, huge, like pay for the entire box type sales, but the entire box sold and the entire box sold like, I don't even, yeah, the last sale was made November 2nd. So like, the, like just after 90 days, like, so it's, it's not even that this stuff sat forever. So I will take lower profit to move it quicker any day. I am more of a volume seller and I don't have unlimited amount of space to store things. So if I'm going to do an unboxing and then the stuff sells off quickly, that's just a huge bonus for me. My th I, Just to recap, I paid $360 for this box. I sold 40 out of 40 items. My average sale price is $20.62. My lowest sale was $10. My highest sale was $50, just so you get an idea of what the range was. My total profit on this box was $334.03. So not quite double, pretty darn close, pretty darn close. Um, 
as I said before, what I would want would be to make my 360 back plus an additional 360 in pure profit. So I got to 334, but everything is sold. So there's no more potential for additional profit after 90 days. However, there's no more stuff laying around. It's all sold. So was this a good box? I would say so. If I can sell all four, if I can sell all 40 pieces within that 90 days and I'm close to double, yeah, that's super ideal. Now I know that um Helpsy Source had changed the pricing of this box a little bit. I think the price did go up. Um I haven't bought another one since this one, although now that I see the results, I might, depending on the cost of goods. If I can get the stuff at $10 per piece or less, I absolutely will buy another one. So I would say final verdict, this was a good box. This was worth what I paid, and I'm so happy that everything sold as quickly as it did. Um, so yeah, so that is today's update. This is a little bit of a shorter, sweeter video, but like I said, I'm I'm really gonna try to get through these 90 day updates and get my content out so you can see uh, everything in its most more current, more caught up state. And hopefully in the new year, I do a little better and pacing myself on the unboxings because that's what my problem is. I've ordered way too many boxes that I wanna show you and now I have a backlog. N not a terrible problem to have. But still, that's what's going on in my world. So anyway, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more 90-day updates. If you want to see those unboxing videos when I get the new stuff in, hit that like button on the way out if you don't mind. That really does help out my channel a lot as well. And thank you so much for watching, friends. I will catch you in the next one.